So this house is definitely in my blood, no question. My grandfather started on the show in 1979. What a day we got. A little wet for you. Yeah, a little bit. Good to see you. My dad took over after that. Putting the heat above where you want the solder to go, mm -hmm. by capillary attraction, you can draw that solder uphill. But yeah, it's crazy to think about that. The show's in its third generation. Growing up, we would hop on a plane or get in the car, my mother, my brother and I, and we'd drive to wherever the project was. You know, my brother and I would be swinging hammers and banging wood. And when I got a little bit older, I wanted to learn. And so I was trying to, you know, pull Tommy away and say, ask him a question about something. The producer of Ask This House called and said, would you be interested in doing a segment? I was like, sure, I'd love to do it. You know, it's basically installing solar on a roof in San Fran. A typical solar panel takes sunlight and converts it into DC power, direct current power. But for it to be used in a house, we need to have it as alternating current or AC power. Because I was always around the camera and watching from the outside, I at least had enough of a kind of understanding of what it was like and what the filming process was like. But it's completely different when the camera's on you. And I remember being like, this is hard. This is really hard stuff. Like, this is not easy. Each of the panels are wired in parallel, not in series with each other, so that if one does malfunction or one does get shaded, it doesn't knock out the entire array. I didn't get a call for about probably five, six years after that segment. So ultimately, they, they did call back. And then I was just so grateful to become a regular in the show. Kevin, how you doing? All right. So uh, your dad tells me you've been out here running some numbers. What do you think of our roof? I think I'm most proud of the fact that I'm starting to pull the show in a different direction. We're able to allow people to capture a 3D model of their home in minutes. Very cool. And I think the technology part is one that's evolving so fast and it's becoming more a part of our everyday life. So this is the hub. It connects all the devices in the house down to this one station. Future House to me is a sneak peek where we're taking those technology and products that are really in their infancy and trying to bring them to the audience. What we're trying to do is bring geothermal to residential neighborhoods. Growing up in a family of plumbers, we were taught hard work ethic. We were taught how to solder a pipe. But what I was curious about was more or less the future of plumbing. So I heard you and your father are working on a smart automatic water shutoff valve. We have a flow sensor that's installed on the main water supply line. So we basically negated the need for all of those point sensors that you previously had. If it wasn't for that fundamental basics of what plumbing is and how that's done, I don't think I would have been able to get to where I am today or into this career path. And so uh, mechanical engineering was the fit for me. Hey, Ross. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to Mission Control. What an engineer's dream. It is pretty incredible, I have to say, to work here every day. I love the challenges that we deal with every single day. We thought, what can we do as a developer to provide an energy efficient source for heating and cooling? I can come into work every single day with a new enthusiasm because there'll be a new challenge with every single project and something that requires us to think outside the box to come up with the right approach. And now we have sewer spaces. Your bed is robotic too? Yes. <laughs> I would love to inspire others uh, to get into engineering. There's not enough mechanical engineers working on the projects and systems that we design. For example, let me go turn the oven on and show you what happens. Whoa, yeah. instantaneous. These jobs are, are here today and they need to be filled. And so it's important for us you know, to use this uh, platform as a megaphone. You're really smart, but I still don't really understand my electric bill. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have it. <laughs> My dad's now Grampy. He's awesome with the kids. He comes over to the house and helping them, you know, build a fort with, you know, building blocks and teaching them why a certain way of building it is going to be stronger. And he can't turn it off. He's always teaching, and uh, he's a really uh, great father and a great grandfather. My kids are four and two. When they get a little bit older, I would love to give them a taste of what I, you know, had as a kid growing up. And, um, and hopefully open their eyes uh, the same way that my eyes were opened up. I want to make sure that I can instill the same traits and skills that were instilled in me from my father and my grandfather, and so that they can take that and run with it. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.